Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, April 10th. April. It seems like I was just saying, how could it be March and it's already April. Amazing how fast time is going. Nice day, cloudy, uh, rain has stopped finally. I was going to start building an arc, but uh, boy, got to get yard work done and it's just been swampy out there. So, well not hot swampy, but wet. You sink into the lawn. So. Anyway, enjoying Tim Thorpe, uh, I believe he called this a canted egg. On the bookshop. This is take two because uh, my furnace came on. And it's still that chilly. So, we'll try to do it again, but that's okay. Uh, the reason I tell you it's take two is I'm probably going to have to reload my pipe halfway through. Anyway. First off, um, thank you. I received yesterday in the mail this beautiful coffee mug. <laughs> Not a big deal, really, but I appreciate, you know, I, I put up a post last week about this thing that I found called the pour over, and I'll explain what it is. And I said, you know, if you use the affiliate link below, uh, I get a free coffee mug. And sure enough, Within a few hours, I had a free coffee mug, <laughs> or at least I, I had qualified for it. So thank you all for that. But that wasn't the, the primary reason for sharing the link. Um, it's a really neat service. It's a, uh, it's free. It's a five minute, approximately five minute read email that you get three times a week. It's news. It's two or three news stories, uh, top stories, you know, things you, you would likely be interested in, delivered in a very unbiased fashion, just stating facts. This happened, this happened, this happened. And then there's a short little blurb, uh, often followed with a biblical quote to kind of put the news story in a Christian context. So if you're not Christian, skip ahead or just stick with me. This is only gonna take a minute. But it's, it's really well done. And I found it to be a, a worthwhile thing because, you know, it, I've been avoiding news because it's just so darn antagonistic all the time. And this is this is an option. Now, if you're not Christian, you're probably not going to like it. So, you know. but where are my glasses? I'm just going to give you an example. I'm not going to read the whole story, but this was a story about. Uh, Sanctions against Russia, uh, sanctions by the Biden administration, sanctions by the UN, and uh, removal from uh, the Human Rights Council of, of uh, Russia, and then Russia quitting the Human Rights Council. Uh, so it just basically said, this is what happened, you know, the ding, 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 ding. And then at the end of that, you get the following little blurb, I'm going to call it. Uh, the font changes, so you know you're no longer reading a news story. So this is something that's being added. Above all, love. While, you're likely, while you likely have no control over this war, you can control how you speak about it. Leave others with no doubt of your love for everyone involved, even for people whose actions you do not support. And then it goes on to uh, quote Matthew 5, verse 44 to 45, which is about loving your enemies and praying for those who persecute you. So that's just an example of how even in this case where, you know, people have so readily taken sides in this war, step back and, and remember to pray for everyone involved. Uh, pray for your enemies. You know, so anyway, I, I like this a lot. I thought it was worth sharing with you all. Uh, I enjoy the mug, but that's not the reason I shared it. And I will put a link below in case anybody didn't see the post and you're interested. Um, give it a shot. It doesn't cost anything. They do have a, you, know, you can pay if you want because, you know, it's a donation-based system. But it is free. Um, and it's just three times a week. There's no spam associated with it. So check it out if you're if you're interested. All right. Commercial over. We'll never talk about it again. But when I find a good thing, I like to share it. So I, uh, 
I got a lathe problem, and I do not understand my lathe problem. I um, so I tried to do another stumble the other day, and this little guy will probably never be a pipe for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is you can see the shank is quite thin; it's it's a pencil shank at least, <laughs> and that's not what I was going for. But also, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but the but the tobacco chamber is off center with the outside of the, the stomach. And I'm very confused. So, first off, the, the outside is perfectly circular. It, it's not oblong, it's, it's perfectly circular. It was turned on a lathe and a wood lathe. And, you know, should be perfectly circular because that's what lathes do. The hole appears to be drilled off center. So initially I thought maybe the tailstock was off and I spent time yesterday morning. I, I actually tore down the, the, the tailstock, uh, cleaned it, lubed it, uh, did a little bit of shimming on the, on the base because there was some play where you, know, you could lock it down in a couple of different, slightly different positions, but it wasn't perfectly lining up with the headstock. Got that all sorted. Uh, haven't run any tests yet, but in thinking about it, now that I've wasted all that time, it doesn't make sense because if the, the tailstock, which is where the drill bit lives, so this is turning in the chuck, and the drill is staying stationary and gets advanced in as this turns. So if this was off center somehow, you wouldn't get an off center hole, you would get a bigger hole. Right, because it would, this would still be rotating around its center, and this the drill bit would be moved, and therefore you would get a larger hole. Well, the bit I used was, uh, and I apologize to folks like me that don't like metric, but it was a 19 millimeter bit, and. Did a little sanding, so it's not exact, but it's pretty darn close to 19 millimeters. So the bit wasn't actually off center relative to the axis of rotation of the headstock. So how did this hole get off center? Now this happened to me on the first pipe, and I thought maybe it was um, when I moved it because you have to. You know, obviously you do two turnings on this. You're, you're turning the shank and you're turning the, the top of the tobacco, uh, top of the stumble. I, I, what is this called? Bowl. Top of the bowl. There we go. So I thought maybe this shifted in the, in the chuck when I did that. So I actually made locating pins for the chuck. And I don't know if you'll be able to see there, but there are two uh, large depressions right here where those locating pins allowed me to rotate this without shifting it. And, my, sorry, should have had the flashlight out. And if I do this, you'll be able to see that the drilling is, oh, can you see? You know, it's pretty good on center there. So, the locating pins worked. They work perfectly. But this is still not right. I mean, this is... So the, the back of the bowl is 5.12 millimeters, and the front of the bowl is 6.58 millimeters. That's a big difference, and it's noticeable. Interestingly, um, if, I, if I can get this set up properly, when I rotate this around, and if, if now I call, well, let's just measure it. So this is 2.1, no, two, I'm sorry, 2.22, 1.95. 
So there's a difference in this as well. That this hole is also off center. I don't know how how that happened. <laughs> I just can't figure out what could be wrong that that's winding up off center like that. And by the way, that's another clue is why the shank is so thin because I could not get it into round, suggesting that it was shifted relative to center. But I don't know how it could be. So I'm starting to suspect the chuck. Um, the chuck itself is fine. It might be the jaws. Uh, I don't know. I've got work to do. I've got to ponder this for a while. But in doing this, I decided, independent of whether or not I get this worked out, I need a new lathe. <clears throat> My wood lathe is uh, its a grizzly. It's, it's not bad quality. Um, it's small. It's a, I believe it's a 10 by 16. And I'd like to get something that, you know, the, the 10 isn't really a problem for me. Uh, a little bit bigger would be nice, but uh, that that's the swing over the lathe bed. So that means you could, in theory, spin something that's five inches in radius, 10 inches in diameter. Uh, you can't really do that because you've got to get the banjo in there and stuff. But anyway, so it's, uh, you know, having something that's a 12 or so would be nice, but it's not critical. But the length, that's 16 inches between centers, uh, sometimes is a problem, if you, especially if you're trying to, like, face off this, which is in the chuck like that, and you got to get here, you wind up hitting the tailstock. And I can take the tailstock off, but it's a pain, so... Yeah, having a little bit longer would be nice. So I, I do think I'm going to get a new lathe regardless. Uh, that, the other thing about the, the lathe that I have, I'm sorry, I'm looking at it. That's why I'm looking off camera here. Is It's it's wonderful for buffing. Uh, I have a mandrel that goes in it, and I, I have three buffs on it, and it works fantastic and adjusts the speed and all that. So I think I'm going to make that a dedicated buffer and get a slightly larger... Uh, midi lathe to replace it. But I'd like to understand how this is happening because, you know, if it ever happens again, I'd like to know. So that's what I've been doing. Puzzling. If anybody has any thoughts on how this could happen, I know I'm not doing a great job of describing it, but it's, it's really a mystery. So if anybody has any thoughts, I'd love to hear them. Ah, uh, so that's that's life. Uh, next week is e Easter week, so Good Friday. I'm not going to do a show for Good Friday, uh, a live stream. So uh, I'll be back the following Friday. Uh, this week's busy uh, work-wise, so I doubt very much I'm going to see you on Wednesday. I'll probably do something Sunday morning for Easter. Um, probably not an Easter show, but you know, just saying hello and wishing you happy Easter. So with that, I'm going to let you all get on with your Sunday, and I'm going to go stare at my lathe and scratch my head. I hope you uh, all have a great Sunday and a wonderful week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.